Keurig K Mini Plus. Keurig K Mini Plus single serve coffee maker. That's Keurig K Mini Plus need coffee filter. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing Keurig K Mini Plus coffee maker and we're gonna see how it looks like. So let's dive right in. With our Keurig K Mini Plus, this is what the box looks like. K Mini Plus single serve coffee maker fits anywhere on your counter that is more like space. You can make a strong brew. Also, you serve six to 12 ounce your perfect amount whichever amount you want you can do that this is a removable one cup reservoir that comes with it you just add water each time you want to make it it's fast and fresh brewed all the time so we are going to take a look at it and this is the color is black and so we are going to open this right now so i'm going to take this off here and the seal and now it has a manual that comes with it. And also this is just, thank you for choosing Keurig. This is the quick start guide that comes with it. I'm gonna take this out of here. Okay, all right, so this is what it looks like. And actually this is very tiny see the top of it and this is the power and then you have your strong brew which is this one here i can see this is the reservoir that comes here and then according to the manual you also have coupons here for k cups for your coffee and it's neat so you can redeem this at any retailer or redeem online as the Eric. you go to their website to buy you can use this coupon that is three dollars off use this code here and put it in also this is like a warranty that you can register so it does have a warranty on it you can register your Keurig mini plus coffee maker just in case something happens to it all right and then this is the manual and then it tells you how to use it you have the step by step so you plug it in and then you fill and place and we are going to try that before you brew power button so that is the power button and then plug it in so that is just step by step it shows you three four steps step five step six and then all the way to step seven let's take a quick look so we are going to take this off right here so this is going to be the reservoir so you can open this up it goes this way and that's what it looks like and so you take all this off here and then you can actually take this part it does come apart it's easy to wash as well so this is what it looks like it has the measurements you can make four cups six cups ten cups and then 12 so you can see that are there 10 and 12 cups so you have the minimum and then the maximum okay and so this is easy to wash very very easy for you to wash and this is where it sat right here so we are gonna just put this back in here slide in and then that's it it stays in there okay now let's take a look at the back so with the back comes the cord just take this off here this is the cord the cord is in so you can pull it out i think it can go a little bit longer okay you just push it out and then it comes out i don't know how far but oh yeah keep going oh wow so you just have to pull this out here and then i think that is the end of it and then you plug it in you can put it back in as well if you don't want it to be hanging on your counter you know taking too much space which most of the core does this you can actually push it back in and have just the length you want and if it's not long enough you can push it out if you don't want the core to take too much space you can just put it back in so that's this one it works perfect look at that you just put it in and that's it back in there now let's take a look at the front all right so at the front here i don't know what is this one but let's see take this off here take this off and then we're gonna oh this comes out this is like a storage and can oh yeah this is a storage so this is where you can keep some of your coffee the k cups for your coffee so this is really neat i like this then once you put in your coffee your k cups in here and you can put it back in here like that it's just like a storage so that is really cool take this out so now we have the bottom here so this is like a little stand and you can actually take this out for easy cleaning and easy wash like this tray can also come out you have these angles here these angles it's easy to take them out so has just slide it in it clips back in so you just push it out this way and then it comes out for you to use 
and then this is attached so you cannot take this out but you can take the tray to wash it so that is that one and then you have the drainer which drains maybe there is coffee mess you make and all you have to do is push it in and it sticks in there just put your hands in here pull it out if you want to put it back in just straighten it out this hole here and then align it like that and then it just there so there we go so this is the top of the Keurig K Mini Plus so all you can do is so we see the power and this is the strong brew and this is the aqua button so we can flip this up so this is the handle to opening you just have to flip this and then that opens this up and you can see in here the cups it has a little flux in here that you can take easily but if you want to take it out twist it a little and this comes out so we can actually take this out this is the little cup that you put in the k cup the coffee to brew and then we can see in here and also you can take this apart as well this can come off for you to have easy access to clean it this is the cup that you put in coffee to make and then all you have to do is put it back in here if you want to wash this for easy access to wash this as well you can see in here the hole where you put your coffee and then it drips down here all right so once you take this out to put it back in just together all you have to do is put it in align it and then just push down on it you hear that click so now this is in there this is the little needle that punches into the coffee the k cup before it starts brewing and then we just close this back and that's it so that's it that is your whole Keurig K mini plus coffee maker this is your storage put that back in and then we have it so now we have this whole Keurig mini plus that is ready to go and then how to use this let's see how we can use this right away so before I use this I am going to wash this quickly before I put in my water Going to take this out our storage being out i'm going to get the, this out and plug it in and then you just remember and take this off plug that in all right now so i'm going to add the water since i know how much coffee i want to make i'm making eight ounce which is one cup so i'm going to put that in right there that is almost eight ounces see i'm gonna close this i'm going to turn this around all right so i'm going to open this and i'm going to use this coffee okay and i'm going to put this in I just push this down hear that click now we're just going to close this and i'm going to put my cup right here and then we can see the top all we have to do is push the power is on so we're just going to push down on here then you can hear the noise i'm going to set up a time to see how long this takes the timer let's see remember you can choose the strong to make a strong coffee but we just want a regular coffee so you can hear the sound of the coffee not too loud so it takes one minute nine seconds for the coffee to start coming out again So in total, it takes two minutes from where you start the machine to when it finished. So two minutes to get it done. And let's take a look at our coffee. That's not bad. It smells good. It's very dark. We just made an eight ounce. So that is not too bad. This is really lovely. I just unboxed how the Kiri K Mini Plus coffee maker looks like. We take it out of the box. We see everything that comes with it manual and all the little accessories that comes. And it's really nice. I love it. Also, I show you how to make coffee with it it came out pretty nice and as you can see coffee tastes good you have options to make a strong coffee or just a simple coffee somebody asked can you use a regular coffee you can use but you need to have the recommended k cup they have the actual k cup that you can buy it comes with a filter as well 
you buy the K cup, which is a plastic made in a size of the cup itself like this, that you can use your folders or whatever flavor coffee you want, put it in. You also have put in a filter into the little plus cup to make sure you seal it neatly before you put it in your coffee maker to be able to make coffee with. But always do recommend for you to use the K cup itself that is already made. But if you don't have any at hand, you can use regular coffee, but just make sure that you use the recommended reusable K cup with the filter in it before you put it in coffee machine. You don't want to damage it. So yes, you can use that. With the Keurig Mini Plus features, what I found about this to be good is it's very small, especially a safe space on your counter. It's not something that is so bulky that takes a lot of space. So that is a space reducer. You can also the plug, you can put it back into the back so you don't even have any plugs on your counter if you don't want it. You can pull out as much as you want to plug in. So that is one feature about it that I like. The storage, the little storage that comes with it is also very convenient where you can put in your Keurig coffee cups, reserve it in and just put it back into the where you put your cups and it's there. It seems as if there is nothing there. And also this is really good for traveling because the reservoir is that small. It's not that big. You can travel with this to anywhere because it's very slim, small, that can fit in the luggage. So I really like this Keurig K Mini Plus because it's very simple. Space-wise, it's really economical on your counter. You can unroll your plugs back in. That will not take any space on your counter at all. And you can use it to travel. These features are very good and I like it and I'm sure you will like this as well. I hope this video helps you. My name is Florence at florencetracker.com. If you want to learn more about Yuri K Slim Coffee Maker Review, watch the next video. Subscribe to this channel so I can make more videos like this. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below for me. Thank you for watching this and I'll see you on my next one. Take care. Bye.